So what can you guys start doing today to hold accountability for yourself? Something like getting up early. Being accountable to getting up every morning. No matter and despite what happened the night before, it's totally going to be up to you how you feel in the morning. So if you're gonna start getting up early, well, it's your responsibility to go to bed on time. And if you don't do it, well, that's your fault. Doesn't matter, I don't care. Kids, blah, blah, work, this, that. It's accountability. You figure, just figure it out. I don't have that answer. You figure it out. We're talking about holding the accountability for yourself. I don't care about anybody else that you guys are talking about. It's keeping that accountability. So what are you gonna start to do? And even with taking that accountability, like let's go a step further with it. When you do take that accountability, it's not just words saying, oh, I screwed up. That was my mistake. It's now, what are you gonna do with that information? Now that you know, yes, this was my doing. This was my wrongdoing. Or this is something that I did correct. This is something that led me into you know, a positive direction. What are you gaining from that? What lessons are you taking from that? Just don't say, hey, Oh, I messed up. Oh man, I did good. Okay, well, what are you gonna do with it? How are you going now? How are you gonna make your notes to now rinse and repeat if it was something good or if it was something negative or something bad? Where do you get the lessons from that so you won't do it again? And how to not make those same mistakes? It's more than just the words. It's more than just saying to yourself, oh man, I screwed up. I fucked up. Okay, now what? What's the next step? What's the next goal, right? What are you, what actions are you going to do to either continue to lead you into that positive direction or the mistake that you made? Okay, what, how did I make that mistake? What happened? What was the red flags of that mistake? And, and making sure I don't do it again. Because it will probably pop up again. And it's now gonna be up to you to say, oh, okay, I recognize this a mile away. Just like when you run into somebody, and you know they're shysty. You, you, know, you know the game, you see the hustle coming a mile away. Right, you've seen it before. It's up to you to not get swindled. It's not it's up to you to not get hustled. It's the same thing with taking accountability. What lessons are you pulling from it? And making that mental note, putting that in the archive to say, okay, let me make sure when this happens again, the situation comes up again, I am not going to be a victim of it. Right, because the red flags will be there. I have plenty of times where the same issue came up, came up again and I wasn't on point. I saw the red flags again, and I didn't take heed to it. I didn't listen. I didn't follow my principles, and it put me down. And I do not want that to happen to you, to you guys. You have to, and, but you know what? On the flip side, sometimes it's going to be screwing up. It's sometimes you will have to take that L. Listen, a problem or problems a lot of times will be your best teacher. Because what is somebody who's never been through anything? What is somebody who's never been through struggle? So now the minute they get a flat tire, they're ready to jump out the window, they don't know what to do, they're going crazy. As opposed to somebody who's been through it. They've been through tough things, they've been through hardship, they've been through pain. 
you know, screwed up, came back from it. So now when it comes back, when something comes up, deemed a problem, you're like, oh, okay, I guess we have to figure it out. Okay, I guess, oh, here's another one. Let's go and solve it. As opposed to if you've never been through anything, if you've never had to go through pain and suffering, then the minute something just doesn't go your way and that entitlement goes out the window, you don't know what to do, you lose it. So, accountability, guys. Let's get it.